Next up, midpoint and distance. Midpoint and distance are very simple, especially since they are given to you on this formulas page, right cha, e right cha. So, you should both figure them out. Let's do a couple problems on them real fast. Number two. What are the coordinates of the midpoint of a line segment whose endpoints are negative 1, 3 and 5, 7? Now, here's the old midpoint formula right there. Add the x's divided by 2. Add the y's divided by 2. So you might want to copy that down. So if I'm doing x's, I'm going to do negative 1 and 5. So I do, ne uh, go ahead and hit BC. This just means add the x's together. So I have one, negative 1 and 5. So negative 1 plus 5, go down, hit 2, just like that. Enter. You get 2 as your x. And for the y's, you do 3 plus 7 divided by 2, which is 5. There's your answer right there. It's as easy as that. That's a very simple question. Also, you could set them up on a number line and mark them out. It makes a heck of a lot of sense. It's a very easy problem to do. Uh, another one based on midpoint and distance. If I can get there, number 64. What is the length? So length can also mean distance. Of a segment whose endpoints are 3, negative 2, and 7, negative 6. So all you're going to do is go to the old formulas page, and there it is. You have to do square root of this, x of 2 minus x of 1, squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1, squared. That's the formula. It's written in the book. This is your x. This is your y. This is your x. This is your y. Put a little 2 down below, and you can remember them much easier. The thing about the calculator, and by the way, that means that uh, this is going to be 7 minus 3. And this is going to be 6 minus negative 2 squared. Now, it's going to look just like this, except in the calculator, remember we talked about earlier, you have to put the extra parentheses in. So when you type it in, hit the square root, then hit the square root again. Then you do 7 minus 3 squared plus, because I did x minus x, and then I do 6 minus negative 2. Close that and square it. It's very long. This is the f initial uh, parenthesis that they put in when you hit square root. So put in another one. Then just subtract your x's and square them. Then add the square, uh, subtract your y's and s square those. And then close the whole thing out after you put your square in. Hit enter. Gives you 8.94. And then all you have to do is go back in. And we've seen this one already in another problem section, or you will. I just happen to know. So that's your answer right there. Just use the distance formula. No big deal. Don't get all weirded out by everything. Uh, the problem you're going to do, and you're going to have about two minutes to do it, is on this other page, number 36. What are the coordinates of the midpoint of a line segment with endpoints negative 6, 7, and 4, negative 1? This is the... Uh, these are the coordinates for the midpoint, so make sure you use that formula and not the distance. 